Hey, you guys. Oh, what a day. What a day this has been. So I was just going to wait a second until a couple of people join. I really didn't have a plan to do a live video. Actually, you guys, on my fan page, I did a live video earlier, my first cooking video that went awry. And so I was kind of laughing at myself about that. Um, I've got flour all over the front of my shirt. I'm getting ready to um, brand. We are um, next week. And so I was making um, these things called crispies that my grandmother, um, it was her recipe. And so family has really been on my mind today. And I, first of all, foremost, thank you guys so much for watching. Hi, Jeff. Hi, Patrice. Hi, Jennifer. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hi, Chrissy. How are you? So today was Stone's last day of third grade. And he went in and he got done a little bit before noon. And I picked him up. And while I was running errands today, um, my friend Kim texted me and she said another school shooting and I, I just kind of froze and I was like you've got to be kidding me like when is this going to end and honestly as a mother and I'm gonna try not to get choked up on this one guys I'm trying to to be serious and say my message here and get off of here what can we do you know that was when i was driving home i picked up my son um i first of all first of all i have to say you guys that um and i'm not going to look at comments because i'm probably going to lose it here in a minute but i have always felt that when it comes time to blame people for things when things don't work out when um things don't maybe go the way we want, when we're upset with somebody, I've always felt that the person that we should look to the first is ourselves. You know, what can we do differently? What can we contribute more? Um, how can we help to make changes? Instead of just sitting and complaining and saying things need to change, what can we actually do to make changes, positive changes in the world? And you know, guys, I live here in the middle of nowhere, literally 60 miles to groceries, and this is what's on my mind. In fact, when I was driving home, I was about three miles from home. I just broke down, and my son was napping, and I happened to, to drive upon the road, and there was a whole cluster of baby calves and mamas, and they were mooing, and they were talking to each other softly, and it really resonated with me because... I feel like that sometimes is what is missing in the world is that communication and that togetherness. So what I was really um, proud of today was that um, Stone's third grade teacher was amazing at sending home communication every Friday. And she would write little notes about Stone and stuff. But here's something that she wrote at the bottom. Um, Stone, you are a great kid. I appreciate you always being kind to adults and classmates. And I just have to tell you guys, I think kindness is probably one of the things that we don't focus on enough. Whether it's kindness to ourselves or kindness to others, I, I feel like so many times we jump to conclusion. We always want to point the finger at others. Uh, we don't always think about how may I be wrong in this? How can I make changes for this? I know ego a lot of times enters into things, you guys, and at the end of the day, we all have to be willing to look inside ourselves to make positive changes for ourselves and for our community. I feel that it begins at home. I am extremely proud of our son. Um, sometimes my husband might be a little bit hard on him, and I don't mean hard physically. We don't, you know, we're, we're not that, that way at our house, but what I'm telling you is Stone has chores. And he has consequences and he's not, you know, on his TV or playing games or on the iPad 24 seven, you know, those are privileges that he has to earn. Um, the same thing with school. If, if school, if his grades aren't good and I'm proud to say he gets all A's and one B, but if that ever changes, then we're going to work together as a family to make it better. Instead of isolating the incident and blaming the teacher for him, maybe not getting an A in reading because he didn't this, this time. Um, for me, reading is extremely important. I love the English language, and I feel that what you learn in grade school is so, so important. Um, being kind to people, whether it's a male, a female, um, someone with disabilities, someone with different skin color, it really doesn't matter. Um, 
I feel that we all can learn a lot from children. You know, children don't judge. Children play with everybody. The older they get, though, the more they start to change. And it's not a good change, you guys. I mean, I, I know you know what I'm talking about. And what I would love to see more than anything is for children to be able to keep that wanderlust about them. The ability to dream and to say, Mom, Mom, I want to be a doctor. And I'm going to say, you know what, son? That is amazing. I, I will be there for you every step of the way. I'm not going to say, no, son, you're going to be a rancher. I'm going to say, hey, whatever your heart desires, that's exactly what I want you to do. So maybe he will be a rancher. Maybe he won't be. I don't know. It's his life. I am here to support him, but I'm also here to be a guiding light. And that starts with me looking in the mirror every day and realizing that I'm not always up here. I'm a human being. Some days I'm down here. No matter how perfect your life is on social media, it's not perfect. Life is full of ups and downs for every single person. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you're a multi-billionaire. You have ups and downs like everybody else. But I believe that it starts in here for each of us. Um, looking into how we can be better. How can we treat others better? You know, how can we meet the issues head on and not be accusatory, but how can we look at it as a opportunity to grow as a community and be better? So that's really what was on my heart today, you guys, is just um, super proud of my son. Um, graduated third grade today, going to be a fourth grader, found out who his teacher is. He's excited. He's found out through who some of his classmates are and stuff. But in all of that joy, I want you guys to think about, and wherever you're at today with your life and your family and everything that you're doing, think about the parents of those 10 children in Texas who won't be coming home today and what that really means. You know, I think that's that's really harsh. And, you know, you guys all know I'm a thriver and one of our own lost her daughter today. And so that's just um, devastating. So I'm just about kindness, you guys. And I think it starts with each of us. And I think we all need to take a look in the mirror and figure out what in the heck we can do to make some positive changes, no matter where you live, you know? Sorry, um, just really feeling for those people, and I don't understand this at all. I don't understand children doing this. So I think it's time for us to rise up and be the positive light that everybody needs, especially us thrivers, because we are full of positivity. We feel amazing. We are all about helping other people, and in turn, we help ourselves our families, our communities, um, whatever it is that we can do to come together to make this place better for everyone, I think that's really what we need to do, and that's what's really on my heart tonight. So, so um, I just wanted to hop on here really quick, and thank you guys so much for watching and commenting. I appreciate it. Um, sometimes I wear my heart on my sleeve, and my heart really goes out to those folks tonight. Um, I just I can't even imagine what they're dealing with. So, much love to everybody. Thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to share this. I don't mind getting emotional. I'm just a real person, you know, guys. Um, I think maybe if more of us were real and spread our care concerns and weren't afraid to look in the mirror and make some positive changes, I think that's what it's going to take to stop this nonsense from happening. So, um, and I don't know, Felicia, what we can do for her. Um, I'm sure there will be more information coming on that, but I just know that... Um, we need to come together. So with that, I'm going to hop off of here. Thank you guys so much for watching.